Well, Jerry, we may have a problem with our leader. The 88 just radioed in. DJ Jared said, I think I'm out of fuel. He's crawling around out on the racetrack right now, and it looks as if Jeff Gordon will complete his stop. Let's go back to you. All right, left side tires on Gordon. He is down and away, and as Gordon goes by, the quality care crew, Jack Arruda, are shaking their heads back and forth, indicating they are not happy. Apparently, that may have been the case for Jared. Oh, Benny, he is out of fuel and is going to have a tough time making it back. Steve Park is in, and he's away. They were out of fuel as well. They were squirting ether in the car to trust some starting fluid, and here comes Jim. Dale Jarrett slowly coasting. He's in turn three now, up at the north end of the racetrack. He's still got a long, long way to go. See Morgan Shepard going by. Got a great run going today. And here comes Jarrett slowly, slowly coasting. We mentioned so often that it's one thing to run out of fuel at a track like Bristol when you can make it around without any problem. But when you run out, and here is Jeff Gordon, put, Gordon putting a lap on Jarrett. When you run out here at the south end of the racetrack, it is a long way around. And you know, there'll be a lot of discussions because remember, I told you originally, they wanted to come in on lap 80, but actually before that, about five minutes before that, the Parrott brothers had conferred and originally they were gonna come in on lap 7-8. If they had, Jerry Punch, it would have been plenty of time. And I think that was a break for Mark Martin. He just came in and made a four tire change. The good news for Mark Martin, he can make it the rest of the way on one more stop. And by seeing the 88 car beginning to slow and coast, that gave them the indication they need to pit that time by rather than pushing the envelope and possibly running up themselves. Four tires, no adjustment on Martin. He is set to go for one more stop if we stay green. You ever see Mark Martin and Jeff Gordon? I think right now that Terry Labonte is the leader of the race. This would be for position. And Dale Jarrett is still coasting. He just now has gotten to Pitt Road. Just now gotten there. Somebody needs to put a little bit of gas to his car so he can try to start it. I don't Chad. know if he's going to make it to his pits. Chad Little getting work finished on his car. Darrell Walter is coming out. And guys, he has radioed in. He said, send help. I cannot make it. So the crew just scampered down Pitt Road. Yep. And they're going to make the 100-yard dash down there. And then have to turn around and try and push them another 100 meters back. Who needs the goodwill games when you've got this? And those guys are not athletes. I mean, uh, <laughs> runners. But they're going pretty quickly to Dale Jarrett's aid. He is way up at pit in. And Man, Dale oh Jarrett's chance of winning the uh, Brickyard 400 are over. Terry Labonte relinquishes the lead to uh, make a pit stop, Jerry. And very quietly, a good run for the Kellogg Chevrolet for Terry Labonte. Fairly routine pit stop, right and left side tires. It's been a lot of time cleaning the windshield. His windshield was covered in a lot of film and oil from something in front of him. He is down and away as the 88 crew now has run the 250 yards down pit road and are pushing for all of their worth. The 88 car, Dale Jarrett, back towards their pits, but they are still probably at least 150 yards away. Man, oh man. <laughs> Some of those guys are absolutely exhausted. Now, part of the 28, this is a tag team affair. The 28 guys, Kenny Irwin's crew, is trying to help push the car down. And, and guys, you know the only guy that did not go down there to help push the car? The fuel man, because he has to heft, <laughs> he has to heft about 77 pounds on his shoulder, and he wished he had been able to do it about six laps ago. What a disappointment for Dale Jarrett, who was leading the race when he ran out of fuel. That's Kenny Irwin's crew chief, Slugger Labby. They were on the left front pushing that car. He is just losing lap after lap here as while the crew gets him finally to his pit box and now can go to work on the car. But you can see that some of them are just totally exhausted from that run up and back. And don't forget, the biggest problem is you can fill this up with fuel, but they still have to refire the car. So now you see a man go to the front on the air intake, spraying as much ether as possible to try to ignite the car, and it does not fire. You can hear it fired, but it did not catch. 
still, the problem persists. This is atypical of when you run a car completely out of fuel. Now he's got it up to speed, and now they will continue changing four tires. Besides, it's all very relative for someone that had a chance at a million-dollar bonus. Dale Jarrett has lost three laps so far, has dropped back to 37th position. Now, finally gets the work completed, and you can see the anguish on the faces of the pit crew members. I mean, he just laid on pit road. I don't know if he's able to get up. Is he okay? I guess he's just absolutely exhausted. Mm -hmm. These guys work so hard to keep their driver in competition, sometimes called upon to do a little extra work. Now, Ward Burton never did make it to his pit, and now it brings out the caution. Caution waving over the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the third time this afternoon. We will get you back to the Brickyard 400 in just a moment. Dale Jarrett certainly must be bumming. Rum and I like your choice of words. Indeed, Dale Jarrett is bumming right now because he has lost four laps when he ran out of fuel back now in 37th position. We are under caution because Ward Burton never did make it around, and I'm, st I'm sure there are going to be some crews that really question that uh, late caution that was brought out because it hurt a lot of drivers, especially Dale Jarrett. As the 90th circuit is put in the books, restart coming on lap number 91. Jeff Gordon now has that outer line, and that's not the fastest way around. Johnny Benson is going to get a, a lap back here, yes, indeed, temporarily at least. And here comes Jarrett on the inside of Gordon. Dale Jarrett's 88 car is four laps up, and here goes Mark Martin. This is for the lead. Martin pulling alongside Jeff Gordon at the end of the back stretch, and Jeff Gordon has him by about a half a car. Like Ernie Urban is coming right behind Mark Martin. Also, a little paint traded there, maybe, as they move through the short shoot up between three and four, and they're still side by side for the lead. Jeff Gordon and Mark Martin come off corner four. Let's see who's going to win. Win the race down to the line. And we see Mark Martin and Ernie Urban making some contact off three. Here's Urban on the outside of Irving. Irwin on the outside of Irving. Did I say that correctly? Kenny Irwin in third position here. Gordon still has the lead. Jeff Gordon ran a lap on the outside of Mark Martin to retain that lead. Steve Allen is the engine builder and gas man here for the quality care team uh, for Dale Jarrett. And Steve, what happened out there that caused you guys to run out of gas? Stupid. <laughs> we were we figured we could go to 179, and we tried to get the halfway money, and uh, which was lap 80, and come on 81. Excuse me, lap 79 is what I meant to say. But um, try to get a little greedy. We figured we could milk it out, tell him to save mileage, stay off the. Uh, we sold our pumps the best we could. Maybe it would make it. Uh, felt confident it would or we wouldn't have tried it. It didn't do it. We're just going too fast. All right, Steve Allen said the calculations got him to 79 and a half, and he figured they could save enough fuel to make it the other half a lap to lap 80. The numbers didn't lie. Dale Jarrett ran out of gas. It was a million-dollar gamble. It wasn't because maybe they thought the caution would come out for Ward Burton after all. Jarrett is three laps down. Back in a moment. Jeff Gordon, who is leading, and Mark Martin, who's running second, were in that IROC race. And Dale Jarrett is going to go two laps down now as he passes the leader, Jeff Gordon, still back in 36th position. And did it on the outside. Meanwhile, here comes Mark Martin, just three quarters of a second behind our leader, Jeff Gordon. These two have driven away from the third place car of Ernie Urban. So it's a battle up front between Gordon and Martin. Mark Martin has the best average finish, 3.5, and has earned most points in the last six NASCAR Winston Cup races, although Jeff Gordon is at the top of the point standings. Well, the we caution have, is out again. We have another caution flag. There we see Dave Marcus has lost an engine. That's his second one of the weekend. And guess what? Dale Jarrett gets another lap back. He's now just two down. Well, let's check in with Todd Parrott, the crew chief here. Todd, uh, people thought you were out of the ball game four laps down. Now you're two down and getting back in the hunt. 
some of the other crew chiefs are saying, yeah, hey, you guys are going to stop letting the 88 car go by. You're going to you're going to regret it. Are they letting you go by or is he just going by? No, uh, we got a really awesome race car. Jerry um, a deal a while ago had it figured we could go, you know, to lead the halfway lap and then pit on that lap and ran out as he was at the entrance of pit road. Um, got a great race car. You know, the guys have worked their guts out and, you know, hopefully a couple more cautions. We'll be back in the hunt. All right, that's Todd Parrott. He calls the shots. A lot of optimism here in the quality care pits. What about it if he would come from four laps down to win it? Watch Jared. He'll try to get ahead of the leader and get another lap back. And for right now, he does. But Jeff Gordon is going to do everything he can to keep Dale two laps down because Jared still is very much a threat to win this race. Gordon can run on the outside as well as any car here. There's no doubt about that. Here's Mark Martin once again for the lead. Jared gets the lap back. Mark Martin a half a car length ahead entering the corner and he comes out a full car length behind. Jeff Gordon able to stave off the challenge of Mark Martin. Look now at Dale Jarrett as he is pulling away from Jeff Gordon and put him now only one lap back. This is the leader, Jeff Gordon. He's saying, thank goodness that 88 car ran out of gasoline because he is very, very fast. I'm talking about the 88 car, Dale Jarrett. Hey, guys, Dale Jarrett is now just one lap down, and the man you talked to a moment ago, Steve Allen, who did the gas calculations, wearing that T-shirt under his uniform, which says, never give up. That may be somewhat of a premonition.